Providence has some big challenges ahead, but when I look at what we've accomplished together, I stand here with absolute confidence that we're ready to take it on. When we took office last year, Providence was in an unsustainable financial position. Though temporarily propped up by one-time federal pandemic relief funds, those funds were set to expire or run out. And while many cities around the country use this funding to cover program gaps or pay for temporary services, we saw an opportunity to make long-term, tangible investments in vital community resources with the remaining dollars. True, the money would expire, but we set out to ensure that the impacts would be felt for generations to come. I am proud to say that we have maximized every federal dollar available to us. We have spent it on high-need, high-impact programs and resources that will have long-term benefits for our residents. For example, we invested $4 million in improvements to India Point Park, Marino Park, the Wenasquatucket River area, beautiful public spaces enjoyed by hundreds of people every day. We invested $3 million in emergency programs for our unhoused residents, providing safe shelter for folks across the city in the face of increasing storms and cold weather. And we responsibly weaned ourselves off of those funds, previously used to fill budget gaps, by making difficult decisions to where we are today. We are not experiencing the dangerous fiscal cliff that many, countries or many cities around the country are experiencing as they develop their budgets this month. And I am proud to say that I have kept my promise. Tonight, I am submitting a balanced budget with no reliance on those one-time dollars and no increases to taxes for businesses or residents. <laughs> 